welcome to the show. My guest today is Eric Angner. He's a professor of philosophy at King's College London, a researcher and an author. So he manages to blend two murky worlds into a very usable approach. Expect to learn why economists get such a bad rap, how to maximize your happiness from an economic perspective, how to break your addiction to material possessions, and much more. So many people think of economics in terms of like stock markets, housing markets, inflation rates. And that is part of economics. That is some of the things that economists study. But economics is so much broader than that. It's about anything and everything connected to human well-being. Any choice that you make that has any implications for the way you live your life and the way things turn out. So that means you can do economics and study crime. Child rearing, uh, climate change, uh, uh, family formation, whatever you like, there's likely to be an economic angle to it. And in fact, if you think about like the big problems, like whichever problem you're thinking about, I bet there's an economic angle to that as well, right? There's going to be some economic implications, there's some economic perspective, and in many cases, some economic tool that you can use to address it. What I'm thinking about primarily is a way of looking at human decisions. And basically everything is a result of human decisions, right? Everything's social. And even if it isn't, the solution to whatever problem you're thinking about is going to involve human behavior. And when economists think about that, what they think about is the various values that are at stake. Oftentimes we have to make choices, right? Because there's a limited amount of whatever we care about. Well, that means that we have to strike a balance between the different things. We have to give up a little bit of this in order to get a little bit of that. Now, some people out there want everything always at once, right? That's childish, 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 childish. Once you see that the world isn't designed like that, you got to think about the ways in which things come at a cost. And that's the core of what economics has to offer way of looking at decisions that brings to the fore the values that are at stake, the costs involved, but also the benefits that you can get from making the best available decision. 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 People have been doing happiness research for literally a hundred years, and there's never been any doubt about the fact that more money makes at least some people happier. So if you look at poor people, people at the bottom end of the income scale, everyone has found that giving them more money on the average will make them happier. The conversation, the scholarly conversation that's been going on for some time has to do with what happens on the other side of the income distribution. So if you look at the very rich, does the curve become flat, meaning uh, there's no additional benefit from making more money after a certain point, or does it continue to rise? And right now, it seems like a consensus is emerging, which says that happiness increases at every level of income, 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 income. But it increases less and less the more money you make. So economists talk about diminishing marginal returns, right? And that's what we seem to find in the happiness data. Now, it matters what you have to give up in order to get that additional chunk of cash. Cash, 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 cash. It's not always going to be the case that um, you should try to make more money if you want to be happier because you might have to sacrifice uh, leisure, right? Uh, golfing, time with friends, time with family, time with your kids, things like things like that. So you shouldn't sort of infer that you should always try to maximize your, your income. There's a point af- at which you would be better off not. But all things equal, getting more money seems to be making you happier no matter where you are in the distribution.
demons be gone. Be gone, demons. Be gone. Leave this studio! <laughs>